with this uh, as i said uh, with this background uh, let's take uh, uh, a step back and look at reciprocity again hmm? so the last time around what did we use to prove reciprocity reciprocity and inter reciprocity how did we prove them we used telegon's theorem right i don't know about you guys but uh, i mean the whole thing seems like pulling a rabbit out of a hat right because uh, i mean uh, you know telegon's theorem to begin with is uh, uh, is not particularly intuitive especially when applied to other networks it almost seems like we knew the answer and we were getting it right okay uh, fortunately it's possible uh, to actually derive it from uh, first principles and uh, you know that's what we're going to do uh, uh, next uh, so for example let me take so So let's say we have a network here, right? And I'm, you know, I'm going to do simply a current input voltage output system, right? You can go ahead and do the same math for, uh, you know, voltage input, current output, and any of those other uh, combinations that uh, we often encounter. So this is say I in. This is the network n. And this is V out. Correct? And uh, you know, this of course network has a, a whole bunch of nodes, and uh, this is a free country, so I am free to choose any node as the reference. I am going to choose that node as a reference. I will call this uh, uh, node number 1, right? I will call this the node number 2, and this I will call the node number 3. Correct? And how will I go about solving the network? I mean, let us say I know the internals of the network. What will I do? Basically, you just go and write the uh, MNA equations for the entire network, and you will basically find that you will get an equation of the form some augmented conductance matrix, right? Where the augmented conductance matrix will contain entries corresponding to the conductances and you know the uh, controlled sources and all that stuff which are potentially inside this box hmm? right and the unknowns will be all the node voltages and the currents through all the uh, you know the, the controlled sources or the zero voltage voltage uh, you know the zero voltage sources inside the box correct so uh, the unknowns therefore will be of this form they will be V1, V2, V3, blah, 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 correct? And GA is the augmented uh, uh, conductance matrix which we can, uh, we are now in a position to determine by simply adding up the MNA stamps of the individual elements, right? And this must be equal to, what must be there on the right? all the independent sources. What are the uh, independent sources here? There is only one independent source namely I in. So basically that just comes, that goes into node 1. The rest of this, uh, 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 the rest of this vector is basically 0. All right. Okay. And we are interested in, what are we interested in finding? We are interested in finding the transfer function from not V out to I in, I in to V out, correct? All right. So, what will we do? What will we do? How will we go about doing this? I know it is easy, but please tell me. What will we do? We will find, we will first find v1, v2, v3, I mean I am not asking you to invert the matrix at this point, but all I am saying is this is what we will do, right? This is GA inverse times I in followed by all zeros, which is equivalent to saying 0, 1 followed by 
a string of zeros times i, right? I n is a scalar, correct? And this will give me the output will give me you know, the node voltage, all the node voltages and all the currents that are flowing through the control sources and you know the zero voltage voltage sources needed in any of the control sources. Does it make sense? Okay, but what am I actually interested in? I am actually only interested in I need to find V2 minus V3, correct? So, how will I find V2 minus V3? We have this column vector V1, V2, V3 and so on. We want V2 minus V3. Uh, what do you think? Uh, uh, you, you multiply by a row vector. So, so V1, V2, V3, blah, blah, blah times 0, 1, minus 1 and followed by all zeros, okay, must be V2 minus V3, which is Vr, right? Does it make sense, people? So, what is V out? Putting these two equations together, it is simply nothing but 0, 1, minus 1, 0, all right, times V1, V2, V3, blah, blah, blah. And what is that V1, V2, V3, blah, blah, blah? It is GA inverse times GA inverse times 1 followed by all zeros, correct, times i in. So, if I bring i in out here, the transfer function from i in to v out is basically of this form, correct. Now, is this a, uh, is this a scalar or a vector? This is a scalar, right? And what does this quantify? What information does that uh, uh, vector, what does that, what information does that incorporate? I understand. So, this basically quantifies where the input is applied, right? The input is applied and uh, you know this uh, uh, the circuit generates uh, you know this vector of node voltages right but we are not interested in all the node voltages right this you can think of as the we are only interested in measuring the difference between selected nodes so this basically measures i mean what do you call quantifies across which nodes the output is taken does it make sense all right and this is a scalar so nothing will change if i yes what happens i mean if it is a scalar what how can i write this as that is the expression for the scalar a scalar is the same as its transpose so i can write I can think of this as simply equivalently, this must also be equal to 1, 1, minus 1, 0, G A inverse times 1 followed by all zeros, this transpose, correct, all right. And uh, what is the transpose of this? 
रिकॉल ए बी होल ट्रांसपोज इज वॉट बी ट्रांसपोज ए ट्रांसपोज सो वॉट यू गेट हियर Yes, come on, people. One followed by all zeros times G A transpose inverse. Whether you invert first to transpose and or do it the other way around uh, is the same thing, right? Times zero one minus one. followed by all zeros is this clear people okay so now how can i interpret this result as remember this fellow here this column vector is the input and this is the this goes through the circuit and results in some node voltage vector whose outputs you are measuring correct so likewise this can be thought of as how can you interpret this expression you can now think of this as the input source right this as the network and this as the out the output measurement all right so now a uh, couple of comments is this network the same as this guy is it the same as the original network in general i mean th they have got different augmented conductance matrices and therefore the networks are not the same however evidently the mna matrix of this network the lower network is simply the transpose of the mna matrix of the original net correct so uh, that's uh, uh, and the output is basically this so in other words we can interpret this result as we have another network n hat whose mna matrix is simply the transpose of the mna matrix of the original network right and uh, what comment can we make about where we are injecting the input now we are now injecting an input and what kind of input is that there is something between 1 and minus 1 i mean between nodes 2 and 3 right so remember how did we number the nodes this was node 1 this was ground this was node 2 and this is node 3 so if i gave you this matrix and told you you know where are the independent sources uh, what kind of independent source is there and where is it occurring what would you say it is leaving so basically so this is uh, you can think of it this is right and uh, so this is a network n whose mna matrix is simply the transpose of uh, the mna matrix with the original network and where do we uh, uh, sense the output what is the output matrix saying it is simply taking the node voltage vectors and simply measuring the voltage at node node one so this is the yes all right is this clear people 
right so if you want uh, in other words what I mean, what is the moral of the story if you have an original network n and you inject a current is here and measure v out here you can get the same transfer by injecting current into the output port of a network which is not necessarily the same as n but whose mna matrix is simply the transpose of of the mna of the mna matrix of the original is this, is this clear so far 